What is up DC fans and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode reaction slash review I guess of the Doom Patrol my favorite show on television in the calendar year of 2019 today We are talking about episode 8. I can't believe we are around the halfway mark of the season being over I am loving this show what it is bringing us and this week's episode may be the weirdest Yet, I need you guys to get down in the comments section below. Let me know what do you think about this show? Who is your favorite character? I will get into the episode specifically, but I just want to hear some overall and general thoughts from you guys because I want to know, am I loving this show more than everyone else? I don't think that is the case because just from the comments I saw in last week's episode, I can tell people are loving this. Let's get into... Danny Patrol. So a sentient gender queer teleporting street named Danny is being hunted by the secret bureau of normalcy and needs help from Niles, but gets Vic and Larry instead. Meanwhile, Rita and Cliff try to help Jane. Yep, you heard that right. The name of the street is Danny. Danny is a character in this show. Danny's actually one of my favorite characters in this show now because I was so interested to see how all of this was going to tie together. I read that premise before I watched this episode and I said, no way, this episode is not going to be a complete bust. I don't know why I said that. I should expect better from the show. And I'm not saying this is my favorite episode so far because this one is probably the wackiest and most out there thing that we have seen, but I still enjoyed it. One thing I enjoyed about episode 8 is we got to meet Karen, who is one of the, I believe, 64 personalities that Jane has, and Karen may be the craziest. Rita warns Cliff at the beginning of the episode, I certainly didn't believe her until we got to see Karen, who was this crazy, demonic, evil chick straight from a romantic comedy, and it played on all of those cliches, especially at the beginning of the episode, when she is, and not as obvious at first, but you find out later on in the episode that she is mind-controlling all of these people to either love her or accept her or to treat her like the woman that she wants and needs to be treated like she's seeking attention. The other reason I'm so passionate about this is because I had an ex-girlfriend who acted like this, so this hits home. But Karen's nuts, and every time she comes out, Jane is just hiding deep within her, and her personalities just can't quite come out. They try their best to get her there, but she continues to use that eye trick and mind control people. She even gets Rita later on in the episode when uh, her and the man of her dreams are getting married, and that plot point, that entire story was so crazy. But it wasn't the craziest element of this episode because while all of this is going on and Cliff is dancing with this little kid in a robot suit, once again, Cliff is my favorite character if you've never seen a video of mine. We get a blast into Larry's past and the people that are after Danny the Street used to operate on him and really what their goal here is they are the Department of Normalcy or the Bureau of Normalcy and those people that live on Danny Street plus the Doom Patrol that is not a normal group of people we find out why they were operating on Larry in the first place basically because he is not like them and really if you think about it it is a great message to be preaching it is something that we would hear or see in an X-Men movie and I know guys I've seen the comment section X-Men actually stole from Doom Patrol. I got it. But I still want to relate the two things because I am used to X-Men. I am still getting used to Doom Patrol because it is a slightly new thing to me and I'm learning more about these characters and how they feel about themselves and how it's so hard to really come out of their shell. That is what this entire show is. Have we had a lot of action in Doom Patrol Season 1 so far? Really, if you think about it, no, we have not. And I was thinking about this right after the episode ended. Other than that one fight scene at the end that didn't involve any of of our Doom Patrol members, how many fight scenes have we had? I can recall the one with Crazy Jane, I can recall the one with Cliff in the hallway. Otherwise, not that much action. Even a character like Cyborg, who has been with the Justice League, they've said it multiple times in the show, not a lot of action. And I get budget constrictions, but I also see that's not what the story is calling for right now. This is a show all about accepting yourself and trying to figure out how you're going to go about life when you look like this or act like this or feel like this or don't accept the mistakes that you have made. Don't accept the people that maybe or maybe you have not inadvertently gotten killed. All of these characters are suffering with those issues and you see that with Jane's storyline in this episode. Not as much Cliff or Rita, but we have gotten episodes like 
like that with those characters trying to flesh themselves out. And then this was really in its own way Larry's episode. And the dance slash singing scene that turns out to all be in his head. I was quite enjoying that. And I usually don't like things like that, especially when they're thrown in at random. And it wasn't at random because it went along with the theme of, oh, we have to keep this place bumping and moving so Danny doesn't die. And when it turned out that that scene where he is singing and dancing was a dream, I'm like, Oh man, he, he was doing it. He was coming out of his literal and metaphorical shell. I just, I really enjoyed that for his character. And even though it didn't actually happen, I still found a lot of joy in seeing that because for once in his life, the man was happy. He was himself again. He was whole. And something that is so far over the top and so many people are going to watch and go, uh, this is just a little bit too much for me. I was watching it and paying attention to how his character was acting and it was heartwarming. Now, is it a tad bit on the nose with some of its messages? Absolutely. This is a very metaphorical episode and it kind of stands for things that are happening in the world right now. Some people are going to love that. I don't love whatever the message is. I said that in my Sabrina review today. I don't love when a show hits you in the face with themes like that, regardless of if I agree or I disagree. And this was a tad bit on the nose, but it still went along with the theme of the episode, so I can't strike it too hard. Overall, I thought episode 8 was a really solid, really crazy episode, but... That's what Doom Patrol is at this point. I have accepted it. I hope you guys have accepted it so far. And let me know in the comment section once again, are you enjoying this season so far? Have you watched last week's episode? Are you pumped for next week's episode? If you want to come back and check out my video on that episode, be sure to do that. I love talking about this show. Whatever comes up on the DC platform, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to cover it because so far so good. Once again, thank you guys for watching this video. This series is always an absolute blast. Yesterday, I did my Shazam spoiler review. I talked about Sabrina. I talked about Unicorn Store. Later on today, the best of enemies. That is the only other video coming out, and there is a brand new documentary series on Netflix. I will be reviewing that tomorrow morning. It's a very busy weekend, but it is a very normal weekend for me, and I am really enjoying putting out all of these reviews for you guys. You are the absolute best. Thank you so much for watching this video once again, and I'll catch you later. Oh,